Hello guys, hope you are doing well. Today I will show you WinRM setup on Windows, Ansible setup on Linux and the communication between Linux and Windows machine through Ansible and WinRM. For this we need some settings on Windows machines and Linux machine. So first of all we need two machines. One is Linux machines which I created on AWS EC2 user and here it's IP and uh, secondly we need to create a windows machine here it is windows machines you are seeing so in windows machines uh, we need some configurations or some settings on powershell so I'm showing you uh, first you have to open powershell run as administrator and uh, after that uh, you have to open Ansible document so Ansible document I already opened this website for WinRM setup so here is website docs.ansible.com Ansible so you have to follow this website and there are some basic commands which we need to run on Windows machines so all these force command I will run one by one there first copy this command and paste it, paste it in powershell now copy the second command and paste here press enter now copy both commands and paste it here okay it successfully configured now we have to check uh, the listener is working or not in for WinRM so copy this command and run in PowerShell yeah listener is working here is, it is ports 5985 and it's working on HTTP here you can see IP of the Windows machine so it will listen on that IP basically so now we are on Linux machines and we need to run some commands here first we will run sudo dnf update for update the linux packages it will take some time yeah it's, in so it's successfully installed now we have to run python command to install the python sudo dnf install python 3 so we are installing now python 3 on this server on linux server yeah it's successfully installed now we have to set the python path so basically for set the python path we need to run sudo alternative set python and now the path user slash bin slash python 3 so this path will be set for python 3 now we have to check the python versions we need to check if it's successfully installed or set or not yeah it's python version 3.6.8 now we have to run the command to install python virtual environment python 3 minus virtual env you, ga uh, you guys also found these commands on ansible websites right. 
now we have to set the virtual environment virtual env space env yeah it's set now guys now we have to activate it activate the virtual environment bin activate yeah it's activated you can see here now uh, we will install python using command pip install ansible yeah it's installing will take some time depending on internet speed now check the python version yeah <coughs> here it is python version 2.10.3 and you, co you can also see here angible location now you need to check angible is what Angible thing is working or not so we need to run this command angible localhost minus m ping yeah it's working means angible working fine now we need to create a inventory file so first of all login with sudo user for creating a host file inventory file create a directory angible in etc folder yes it, it's created now go to this location we need to create a host file here on in angible folder yeah so the host file name be will be hosts basically it's an inventory file we need to create for making the connection between windows and linux machine yeah this is inventory file so so i already uh, created a windows server variables and its ip so you basically need to set up this configuration here so paste it here this is basically inventory file yeah so i pasted it here uh, this is my group name group variable basically angible user angible password like we need to set it here and eligible port and this is my group name windows so save this file now we need to install pip pywinrm basically we need to install pywinrm to making the connection between windows and linux machine so the command is pip install pywinrm here i am mentioning version here 0.2.2 yeah, press enter it's installing yeah it's successfully installed now we have to check whether the uh, connection working or not between the windows and the linux machine so the com command is angible windows here it is windows is group name which you have to which you mentioned in your inventory file minus m bin minus five underscore pin yeah, it's showing error basically yeah it's showing basic uh, credential error so basically uh, for this we need to set uh, this configuration there so 
copy this command and paste it here we need to set alone encrypted true for WS man basically these settings are required by WinRM to listen on 5985 port yeah. so basic, basic on the integrations I think it it will complete it is completed and uh, now we now we have to check it again it's working or not yep it's working guys so here it is IP you can see this is Windows machines IP uh, earlier I, I showed you in inventory file yeah here it is windows machines ip so the connection established successfully uh, between windows and linux machine